All right, uh, I gave bad information <clears throat> when I said the fix for the, it was a P1135, let me see, P1135 air fuel sensor heater circuit response malfunction. Okay, uh, so I got this car, it had a code, code wouldn't go away. Um, I have access to the same exact vehicle, same exact engine, it's the 2A ZFE, the Toyota engine, had the code P1135, uh, so we're going to get into how I checked everything later on, but for right now I just wanted, wanted to show basically what happened. Um, for those of you that don't follow what I'm doing, you're just coming here and you're watching this video by itself. Got this car, uh, had the check engine, had the, the light on, checked the code. The code was the P1135. It's that heater circuit malfunction. If you don't know what the heater is, in this case, it's these two black wires down here. The two black wires, it just works as a light bulb. There's a power. And it's grounded by the computer. It's computer, the computer controlled by the computer. And the computer also not only does the computer control it to control the amount of current flowing through it. In other words, to control the amount of heat going to it. It was a 50-50 duty cycle. It seemed like it seemed like it was half on, half off. Um, so in other words, it didn't give it full voltage all the time. It was just controlling the ground, giving it half of the uh, half of what it was supposed to be. Uh, it's just controlling it using half of the electricity. In other words, controlling the ground side of it. Um, I have access to two other Toyota Camrys with the same exact engine, the 2A ZF, a 2007, and like a 2010. Um, so. The first thing I decided to do is I did my research about the code P1135 and it was saying it's the upstream sensor. The upstream sensor is before the cat. The cat's right here. This is the upstream. This would be upstream. The one after the cat down there is downstream. That that would be uh, sensor two. This would be bank one. There is no banks really on this. It's just single bank. It's not a six, six owner or a V. So this is just generic bank one. Sensor one. If it says bank one sensor two, then it's usually the one below would be sensor two. And if it says bank two sensor one, it'll be also upstream. And if it says bank two sensor two, it'll be downstream. So uh, just a little information on that. Um, I got a com I checked everything. The first thing I did was I, I have the other cameras. <coughs> Excuse me. I have the other vehicles that have the same exact engine and the same exact plugs you can see where i was ripping everything apart which is a damn shame is you know whatever it doesn't matter you know I, if i learn something then then that's fine with me in order to be taking everything apart you can see i wired everything i went all the way to the computer i checked every single wire on this thing because the first thing that i did well these sensors are about a hundred bucks the first thing that i did was I figured most of the time it's the sensor. I did my research. It says most of the time it's the sensor. What I did was I switched sensors. Well, the sensor that the people had put in this car was the wrong sensor. The sensor that the people had in this car was this sensor right here. Now this sensor right here, it's a, this is a Den, it's a Toyota, but Denso, it says Toyota Denso, so it's a Denso, same as those. It's just, they put, they charge you more at the dealership for one that has a Toyota on it, but it says Denso on it. This sensor right here that was on the vehicle, somebody put the sensor on the vehicle, it's a 2, 3, see how this one says 2, 3, 4, 9, 0, 1, 0? This one right here is two, three, four, nine, zero. Let me see. Nine, zero, four. Hold on. Let me see what it is. Four, one. 
This sensor that was on the vehicle, it was on here. Actually, this one wasn't originally on here. This one was on here originally. It's 234, this one right here, is 234-9041. 2349041. That is a Denso number for this uh, for these oxygen sensors. It's a, it's a Denso number. So that's upstream sensor. It's a it's an air fuel sensor. It works differently than an oxygen sensor. The one below is just regular like oxygen sensor. Um, so the people who originally changed the sensor put the wrong sensor in it. It fits perfectly. It connects perfectly into this vehicle. Um, the 2000 and was it 2007? The other Camry I have access to, the 2007 Camry has the 2349041 up here. So the original people who had this vehicle, they had the 234. 9041 in here. They put the wrong sensor in this vehicle. Then it set a code. And when it set a code, they didn't know what to do, so they started messing around with everything else, which was confusing because they started messing they started messing around with, and messing this thing up, which leads you to believe things that may not be true because if you see that they messed with a whole lot of other things, it, it makes you think that a whole lot of other things are wrong with the vehicle. And in reality, all they did was put the wrong sensor into the thing. <sighs> if you see the video that I had shown, I I ordered a computer for this thing. It was only 40 bucks. It wasn't, you know, if it was a thousand, I would have definitely done a lot more research than I did. It was 40 bucks, whatever. 40 bucks is 40 bucks. I got an extra computer for this thing. If you need an extra computer for whatever reason, it, stuff happens. Things blow out. You know what I mean? Circuit drivers get messed up, especially the way I mess on cars, mess around with cars. The way I do experiment with them and try different things and do make videos and everything. It's not going to hurt me to have an extra $40 uh, computer that fits this vehicle. It's not going to hurt me at all. It's nothing. Uh, the first thing I did was switch. So I switched out. The 2349041, I took it out and I put another 2349041. And I base I switched it from one vehicle to another. <clears throat> there was not a code set on the other vehicle I put it into. So that made me figure that this sensor that was originally in this thing was good. And then the code stayed on this vehicle. So I was a little confused. I figure it's a wiring problem. I do wiring checks all the way from the computer, all the way to here. I do resistance checks on the uh, the sensors themselves. They seem to ohm out fine. I just checked in between here. You disconnect here. I'll show you on another video. You probably already know how to do it, but you just disconnect here. And this is the sensor side on this side. This is sensor side, and this is harness side. You disconnect it, and you check volt, uh, ohms right here between the two blasts. And it, it was anywhere between 3 and 3. Point eight ohms <clears throat> uh what else did i do after i checked the wiring i was i was confused at the time because the wiring ohmed out perfectly fine the next thing that i decided to do was check to see what was coming out of the computer on a 2007 coming from that harness from the computer uh on the black wire one of the black wires with the key on there is uh on the top black, which is the top black right there, it's this one. When I say top, this is I'm talking about this one. The top black, that would be the bottom black. That's what I'm referring to. The top black one on a 2007 with the key on, <clears throat> engine off, there is no power and no ground. And then on the bottom black one, there is 12 volts power and there is no ground. That's with the key on, engine off. On this one, 2000, and, I think it's yeah, 2002. There is on the top black wire. There's two volts power. Okay, that's what's coming out. Two volts power. And then on the bottom one, there was 12 volts power. 
So you can see, even though it's the same exact engine and everything, coming out from the computer was something that was completely different. And it was different on the other vehicle, the other one I have access to also. Um, that made me believe there was something wrong. That, that made me believe there was something wrong with the computer. And that's just how the computer works in this model this year. Um, <clears throat> of course I don't know everything. Uh, I don't. I don't know everything. What's supposed to be coming out of the computer. What's not supposed to be coming out of the computer. I don't know everything about every vehicle. I just don't. The fix for that code for this vehicle was to put the correct sensor. That is the correct sensor right there. 2349010. They originally put the wrong sensor. They put 2349041. And then I took 2349041 out and I switched it with another 2349041. That did not fix the problem. The wiring was good. I checked everything in the wiring. I checked everything going up leading to the computer. I figure it's a computer problem. $40, not that much money. I ordered the computer. I get the computer. I put it in. I set it. Code comes right back. Um, at this point, I had actually put the computer, I put the computer and it seemed like it went away and that's why I posted in the video that it fixed, the computer was the fix, the computer was not the fix. After I posted that video I said I'm gonna, I have to fix it before I, I, I uh, <clears throat> repost the video showing you how to fix it, I'm not gonna just keep saying well I don't know what, what the fix is. You have to put the correct sensor. Um, I did lots of research and people put the wrong sensors and the code didn't go away and that's exactly correct sometimes it could be a wiring problem you can have a wiring problem leading up to it in this case I told you I checked everything on the wiring there was no problem with the wiring uh, I figure it was computer because what else could it be if it wasn't the sensor I mistakenly thought I had the right sensor and because I have access to two other uh, vehicles have this same it's the same vehicle same exact vehicle but different years it's the same exact connection at the oxygen sensor. It's the same exact car, same exact engine, same exact plug. It, it plugs into it perfectly. I assumed it was the right sensor until I did further research after replacing the computer because I replaced the computer. It, was, it took me like literally five minutes to replace the computer. It was no big deal. 40 bucks in, in five minutes and it was no big deal. I, you know. In, in a way, I was throwing parts at it, but I wasn't spending too much money throwing parts at it. And do, it doesn't matter. You know, it's my money. I'm spending the money on it. So, uh, anyways, on like uh, 2002, 2003, 4, 5, the downstream sensors are the same. So, even though the upstream sensors are different, the 2349041 fits like a 2007. 2349010 fits the... These are both upstream they're actually air fuel sensors, not oxygen sensors. They're different. Same engine, same car, same everything, same gasket, same everything for this damn car. But the, ox the, the upstream sensors are not the same. This, when I tested the heater circuit <clears throat> on the oxygen sensor side, on the sensor side, it was about 2.0 ohms, 2 ohms, something like that. And this was about 3 to 3.8 ohms on the two different ones. They have different resistance ratings. That's why the if you put this one where that one's supposed to be, or you put vice versa, they set codes. They have different resistance in them. That's why they're different sensors. <clears throat> um, that was the fix. It fixed it. Hasn't come back. It fixed the problem. Uh, I'm a little pissed. I spent more time than than I would have liked to. But you know what? In, in all in all, I might have spent forty bucks. Uh, an hour or so of my time then again I learned something we're all learning from something from this and uh, it's fixed it's fixed that's what fixed it I told you guys the this uh, computer fix it that did not fix it I thought it did I wasn't trying to lie to you guys I thought it fixed it I'm correcting it now I'm telling you you have to put the correct sensor 2349041 is not the correct sensor for this 2002 two three four nine zero one zero is the correct sensor make sure you do your research it will fit there perfectly it will fit in there 
all the wires are exactly the same. You got two blacks, a white and a blue. They're exact same wiring, exact same plug, exact same everything. But it has different resistance in the heater. You cannot use it. It will set the code. So I hope that cleared up everything for you guys. Um, that's what I had coming out in this year. That's what I had coming out of those two wires with the key on, engine off. On the top one, the top one I'm talking about right here, top black one, with the key on, engine off, I had a, uh, there was no power and no ground. And then uh, there was, uh, no, actually, I'm sorry, there was two volts power coming out the top one. And then on the bottom one, there was 12 volts power. So, um, I don't know. I'm not knowing how it works right now. Uh, air fuel sensors work differently than oxygen sensors. Uh, so, that's what I was getting out of there. With the key on engine off, I was getting 2 volts out of this top one. And then 12 volts out of the bottom one. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, that was the fix put the actual correct sensor whoever somebody who had this vehicle before put the wrong sensor and then I mistakenly replaced it with the same sensor that was in here that was the wrong sensor and then the code didn't go away and then after I did that I checked the wiring because I figured the sensor was good because I knew I put a sensor in here that was from a vehicle that had no codes it had no sensor codes and then I replaced it with another vehicle that had no sensor codes so I knew the sensor itself was good, and the sensor was good that I put in here, but it's the wrong sensor for this vehicle. You understand? That's why it was so confusing. And then I checked the wiring, the wiring's all good. So the only other thing, if it's not the sensor, if it's not the wiring, then it has to be the computer. 40 bucks out of my pocket, that didn't fix it, so I had to regroup and I had to rethink of what I was doing. You have to put the correct sensor, air fuel sensor. And both all those vehicles, they all have the same downstream sensor. This one fits this year, this one fits the 07, this one fits a lot of different years. The downstream. But when it comes to the upstream, you gotta make sure you have the right one. You cannot put the 2349041. Or there's another one, 2349021. You gotta make sure you put the correct one. And if you put it, if you get that code and you put it and it still comes back, then you probably have the wrong sensor. You need to go back to the store and you need to get exchange it for the correct sensor. Thanks, guys, for watching. Apologize if I give you any bad information. I hope this helps somebody out there. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.